Hello guys, this is Karthik from AtZeroAutomation.com and this is part 8 of our Understanding Mock video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about stubbing properties with mock. Before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 7 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Property stubbing. Stubbing a property with mock helps the property to start tracking its value automatically and that is the main purpose of property stubbing itself. We can then perform a get and set operation in the property which is stubbed even in the mock object as if like a real object and that is the greatest beauty of this property stubbing. So if you are not really getting what property stubbing is actually doing, let me flip to Visual Studio and show it clearly what it really means. So this is the same project and code which we worked in our last video of this video series which is nothing but part 7 and we tried to create a list of employees and we also created a mock i personal employee details and then we tried to set up a value here for the graduate eligible count property and also we passed the mock object into this employee details concrete class we then try to perform the get gradual graduate eligible count method by passing all the employees here and we verified whether the get operation of the particular property can be done or not but right now what we're going to do is we are going to set a value for a particular property for setting a property let's say if i don't have this return method what if i do something like this like mock employee personal detail dot object dot graduate eligible count is equal to 3. It seems to be still legal for everybody who is going to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a breakpoint right here and then if I try to debug this particular code you can see that our breakpoint will hit to that particular line of code. Alright so let's do an F11 and now if you see the graduate eligible count we set the value as 3 here so if i try to see what is the value here you can see that the value is actually 0 so the value we set here something like this cannot be tracked by a mock object so it will always return you its default value which is nothing but 0 so the value setting operation of a property cannot be done this way. So instead of doing this way, we need to use a special method which is available in our mock employee personal details dot setup property. So this is a special method which is available in the mock framework which helps to set the property's value. So you can do something like this x dot graduate eligibility count and we can set oops we can set a value for this as well we can do something like this we can set the initial value uh, let's say 3 right and let's comment this code and now if you try to debug this particular code you can see that the value of the property will be 3 this time and you can see the property value is 3 so that is the main advantage of this particular setup property. So this is called as stubbing a property. We can also do this in the other way. Instead of doing this way of stubbing, what we can do is we can call one more method called setup all properties. And this will make all the properties within this particular I employ personal details type with all the properties to be stubbable meaning now you can set any value to that particular property so how that particular thing works so if I do a setup all properties here and now the commented line of code if I un uncomment this particular line of code and now if I try to debug this and this time you can see that the value I can set as 3 meaning all the properties of that particular type is now stubbable. So I can now stub the value on the fly anytime, anywhere I want. So this is the beauty of property stubbing in mocking framework. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.